So far, we've covered what Asterisk is and some of its background. We've talked through its architecture and configuration. We've installed Asterisk and set up two SIP phones. And we've discussed the Asterisk CLI. Now it gets real. For much of the rest of the course, we'll be up to our elbows in the Asterisk dial plan. We'll start by covering the basics of the Asterisk dial plan, what it is, what it looks like, and how it works. In many traditional PBXs, the dial plan is a relatively simple table that just maps the extension numbers to phones. The asterisk dial plan is far more flexible and powerful, though you'll have to progress through a learning curve before you can wield the full power it offers. In asterisk, the dial plan isn't just a static mapping from a set of extensions to a set of phones. In fact, it's more like a scripting language, capable of conditional logic and complex commands. It's certainly capable of ringing a phone when a given extension is dialed, but it can also perform any number of other actions before doing so, even actions that aren't traditionally thought of as relating to a phone, such as posting a record into a database or retrieving a web page and routing based on its contents. As you've seen, the asterisk dial plan is configured in the file extensions.conf. We'll now take a closer look at that file and how it's set up. Within the asterisk dial plan, there are several basic constructs with which you'll need to become comfortable. Each of these has its own module in this chapter, where we go into more detail on its syntax and usage. For now, we'll discuss them conceptually. Contexts are the top-level organizational unit within a dial plan. The typical dial plan has several different contexts. Each one of them contains extensions. An extension is a named set of actions that Asterisk will perform when that extension is dialed. You can think of a context as a container for an extension, and each extension as a list of things Asterisk will do when a call is connected to that extension. Each context is distinct, so the extensions in one context are completely separate from extensions in another context. When dialing an Asterisk, you're actually indicating the extension and context to which you wish to connect. Usually the context is predefined in the channel driver's configuration for the phone or trunk. It's important to keep track of which context you're dialing in, because it's common for the same extension to exist in more than one context. If asterisk behaves unexpectedly when you dial a given extension, you may be connecting to the right extension in the wrong context. Each dial plan extension has one or more priorities. The term extension is used to mean the set of all the priorities for a given extension. Having multiple priorities allows an asterisk administrator to specify multiple actions to be performed on the dialing channel. For example, a common extension might involve the two actions of dialing a phone, and then, if the phone is unanswered after a specified timeout period, prompting the caller to record a voicemail message. This extension would have the dial action listed as priority 1 and the voicemail action listed as priority 2. An extension must have a valid priority 1 for asterisk to recognize that it exists. The last dial plan construct we have to introduce is the application. Each action performed in the dial plan is handled by an asterisk application. You can listen once more to the previous slide and think application every time the word action is said. Asterisk applications is a broad enough topic that it will get its own chapter following this one. If you spend much time at all administering a live asterisk system, you'll find yourself needing to review its dial plan. Though you can learn a lot by browsing through the extensions.com file, that's seldom the whole story. You should always run the CLI command dial plan show to see exactly how asterisk will route calls. Though extensions.conf is the primary way of configuring the dial plan, and the only way we spend much time on in this course on asterisk essentials, there are other ways of getting context extensions and priorities added to Asterisk Live Dial Plan. Several applications such as App Dial and App Q can load extensions. There are CLI commands that let you add, remove, and update extensions. And there's usually no way of being certain whether the extensions.conf you're looking at is the one that Asterisk read on its last reload. When in doubt, run Dial Plan Reload and then Dial Plan Show on the CLI to see Asterisk's live dial plan. So, to recap, the Asterisk dial plan is written in a sort of scripting language that allows it to be far more expressive and capable than many other PBX dial plans. At its most basic, it really isn't too complicated. The dial plan consists of several contexts, and each context has extensions in it. Each extension has one or more priorities, and each priority calls an Asterisk application. Next, we'll move on to the context module where we'll take a closer look at just what you can do with asterisk context.